John Cracker's nonfiction book Into the Wild tells the story of Christopher McCandless, a young man who went into the Alaskan desert to find himself. A magazine piece about McCandless's death drew Cracker, a journalist and mountaineer, to his story. In his book, Cracker looks at McCandless's life, including why he went on such a dangerous trip and what happened to him before he died. The first part of the book is an opening that sets the stage for the rest. Cracker talks about his own time in the woods and how he got interested in McCandless's story. He also gives some background on McCandless's life, talking about how he was raised in a wealthy family, how well he did in school, and how he decided to give his savings to charity and go on a trip of self-discovery. In the first few parts of the book, McCandless's travels across the United States are the main focus. Cracker describes in detail the places McCandless went, the people he met, and the things he did while he was traveling. Cracker talks about McCandless's meetings with other travelers, his experiences hitchhiking, and his efforts to live off the land. McCandless gained a strong sense of freedom and a desire to see the world on his own terms as a result of these events. Cracker also looks at the ideas that shaped McCandless's view of the world. McCandless was a big reader, and the books of Henry David Thoreau and Jack London had a big impact on him. He liked their ideas about being independent and living a simple life. These things led him to decide that he wanted a simple, exciting life. The next part of the book is about McCandless's trip to Alaska. Cracker gives a full account of what McCandless did to get ready for his trip and what he went through on the way. He talks about McCandless's trip through Canada and how, when he got to Alaska, he had only a few supplies and no plan when he went into the wilderness. Cracker gives a vivid and scary account of McCandless's life in the woods. He talks about the problems McCandless had to deal with, like being hungry, being out in the weather, and running into wild animals. Cracker also talks about how McCandless felt during this time. Even though he was going through hard times, McCandless felt at peace and connected to the wild world. As McCandless's trip goes on, Cracker starts to look into the questions about his death. McCandless was found dead in a bus that had been left in the middle of nowhere, and Cracker is trying to figure out what happened to cause his death. He also thinks about what we can learn from McCandless's journey, such as how important it is to be ready for the difficulties that life can bring. One of the main ideas of Into the Wild is that there is a conflict between the freedom of the person and the responsibilities of society. McCandless wanted to live a free and independent life, but he also knew that what he did would affect the people around him. Cracker goes into depth about this tension and shows how McCandless' journey was shaped by his need to find a balance between his own wants and the needs of others. Cracker also talks about how nature played a part in McCandless's journey. The wilderness was a beautiful and free place for McCandless, but it was also dangerous and unclear. Cracker shows how McCandless's relationship with nature changed as he traveled, and he looks at how nature can both inspire and test us. Overall, Into the Wild is a strong and thought-provoking book that shows how complicated life is. Cracker asks important questions about the nature of freedom, the responsibilities of society, and the role of nature in our lives through the story of Chris McCandless. The book explores these themes in a nuanced and complex way, showing how individualism and social responsibility, as well as the beauty and danger of the natural world, work together in complicated ways. In his book, Cracker also asks why McCandless's trip ended in tragedy. Some critics have said that McCandless's death was caused by his naivety and lack of planning, while others have pointed out how hard it is to live in the wild. Cracker gives a nuanced look at these problems. He admits that McCandless made mistakes, but he also shows how hard things were for him. In the book, Cracker also looks at how McCandless' trip was shaped by society as a whole. He says that McCandless wasn't the first young person to be pulled to the wilderness in search of adventure and meaning. In fact, he came from a long line of wanderers and travelers who wanted to get away from the rules of modern society and find out what life was all about. At the same time, Cracker made sure not to make McCandless's trip too romantic or to ignore its darker parts. 
he admits that McCandless's desire for freedom and independence came from a deep disappointment with modern society and that this disillusionment had a darker side as well. Cracker says that McCandless's trip may have been a way for him to hurt himself and get away from the pain and sadness he felt in his relationships with other people. In the end, Into the Wild is a book that is hard to put into a single category. It's a piece of investigative news, a memoir, and a reflection on what it means to be human. It makes us think about important things like what freedom is, what society's responsibilities are, and how nature fits into our lives. And it shows a young man whose journey was both inspiring and sad in a way that is nuanced and complicated. Into the Wild is a book that will both captivate and inspire you, whether you're looking for a journey or just want to learn more about what it means to be human.